This is Lucas Barton, and he's a certified badass. He owns 97 games for the Nintendo Entertainment System, and he isn't afraid of a little competition. Especially when the competition is 8-year-old Jimmy Woods, and they are both starring in the 1989 film classic, The Wizard. While not a great movie, this cheesy story of a video game savant is memorable for a number of reasons. For one thing, the movie inexplicably ends with a bunch of people competing over Super Mario Bros. 3, a single-player game. But the real reason it withstood the test of time is because of Lucas, or more specifically, what Lucas has in that fancy metal box. As you can see, this paper-thin movie villain owns a power glove, and he isn't afraid to whip it out. In fact, he's a little too eager to whip it out. Anyway, the point is that he intimidates his competition with his fancy new game controller. And because of this scene, the wizard became the best movie to ever feature the power glove. There's just one problem. The real-life Lucas Barton is kind of a douchebag. As it turns out, he's a convicted sex offender who definitely should not be around children. This fact has made Lucas Barton considerably less badass. But I have good news, because The Wizard is no longer the best movie to ever feature the Power Glove. You see, 2014 brought a little-seen science fiction film called Space Station 76, starring Patrick Wilson, Liv Tyler, and that guy from Sliders. It's a beautifully art-directed drama that's in the style of so many 1970s movies about troubled marriages and infidelity. It's less Star Trek Deep Space Nine, and more The Ice Storm. The real reason I bring this up is because Space Station 76 makes great use of the power glove. By simply spray-painting the plastic toy, the prop department was able to turn it into a semi-convincing robot hand. The glove gets a surprising amount of screen time, all leading to a scene where it fills up Steven Tyler's daughter. Did the power glove see any action in the wizard? Right, but not with the power glove. That's the important part. On the topic of old-school video game controllers, Space Station 76 also makes great use of Namco's GunCon. I couldn't think of any other movies prominently featuring the Time Crisis gun, so I guess this one's the best by default. Space Station 76 may not end with everybody playing Super Mario Bros. 3, but at least they figure out a real use for the power glove. Because if real life has taught me anything, it's that playing games with a power glove is a lot like driving a car with oiled up chopsticks. <laughs>